All right, guys, how you doing? Welcome back. Um, this is, I think, uh, part part four. It's like June sixteenth, seventeenth. Um, so it's been, I want to say, about two weeks since we did our last video. Uh, we did get all the the gutter lines all done. Um, Mike was out here helping me getting all the uh, the gutter lines bolted up that I showed you last time. We got it all done, all the way down to the far end of the greenhouse there all the way down at that end and then from that end all the way to that end so uh, we ordered these special aluminum rivets um, that we talked about we were waiting on those to come in so that we could actually fasten the track to the folded metal struts that we, that we showed you in that last video so maybe I can show you here I probably should have flipped my camera around but I can't do it when I'm recording so um, but these are the, the folded metal struts it's actually two pieces that we pop riveted together just like I showed you in the last video but now we have our track and the track actually let me show you the, the, the fabric it actually came in uh, it's pretty cool so these three rolls here are six foot tall and about three feet in diameter. Three of these rolls will cover this entire greenhouse, which is pretty crazy. Um, and like I said, I think I showed you in the last video actually, I can't remember, um, honestly, but it's that industrial bubble wrap looking stuff. And I, I, I'm pretty sure I talked about that in the last video as well. So I, uh, I would normally open this up, but I don't want to, but there's a little extruded bead on each end of the panel of the sheet and that extruded bead <clears throat> excuse me I'm biting off the cold so um, or I'm getting over a cold that extruded bead slides up in this track right here so you insert the bead and the sheet would be like right here and the bead would be like right here and it goes in that little slot there that T slot and then you just pull the sheet up through the through the track and when you get to the top, you use another piece of this track and you set it this way and use it as a furring strip to fasten it down to either the gutter line or up on top of the C channel. And this is really hard to do by myself with one hand. I always kind of laughed at YouTubers trying to do it and be like, oh, it's so simple. No, it's not. Um, so, but yeah, so what we're doing today is we're, we're trying to fasten this track onto the folded steel right there so this is um, a finished well I've got a couple finished pieces over there we'll walk over there real quick take a look at them Mike was out here helping me tonight um, I'm on uh, first shift during the summertime at my job during the for about two months and during the the rest of the the year I'm on second shift so right now I work during the day and I come here at night and I'm um, trying to put in, you know, from five until nine. So basically four hours a night, three to four, maybe five days a week if I can fit it in. And then we work on our, on our Revolution Farms property up on the hill on the weekends with my wife and I. Um, but these are the finished tracks. <clears throat> and so you can see how it's been pop riveted to the, to the, to the uh, folded steel. So it pinches down nice and tight against there. Now this is this ends a little loose because where it rests on the gutter line, it's going to actually have a bolt going through there. So that'll actually fasten it down and then fasten it to the gutter line, so it actually can't come off. Um, the pop rivets just hold the the uh, track in place in between the bolts, which are about six feet apart when they're actually up on the roof. So we have our our pop rivets spaced about 12 inches apart. Right there, right there, right there, right there, right there, and right there. And then on the roof, there'll actually be a C channel right here. Um, yeah, right about, right about there, actually. And then we have another one uh, right here. And we didn't put a rivet in here because that's where the C channel comes through. And if we put rivets right there, 
we're going to put a big bolt right through there anyway, those big stainless steel bolts I showed you. I'm going to put that right through, through at that point so we don't need a rivet there. Um, but in between the bolts, we need rivets to hold the track to the steel so it's not flopping around. The bolts won't allow it to come off of the folded steel and it won't allow the folded steel to come off the C-channels on the, on the roof. Um, but we don't want that loose track, you know, a six foot of track in between the bolts just flopping around there. So this just helps secure it. Um, we're using some special aluminum rivets. We talked about those. Um, see how long those shanks are? And they're stylized a, a little bit different. These are pretty heavy, hefty duty. These will hold about 40 or 450 pounds before uh, in tinsel strength before that, that rivet will stretch and break and then the material would come loose. Um, so we have plenty of strength there. So what I'm doing, actually what Mike, Mike made these nice little jigs. Um, we slide the track, or I mean we slide the uh, folded steel into the jig and then wherever we're going to rivet, let's say like right here, uh, we put, you know, lay our track on the top of the folded steel which is in the jig and then we just drill down on that mark. So, and then we just put our pop rivet in. And so I have a bunch of them done already here. And so it's, it's pretty easy. Like that, and then we go and grab a rivet. This is just like that. Now I'm going to try to do this one handed. One, two, and I can already feel the track already compressing down to the folded steel. And three, should pop it off. Normally you wouldn't let it go like that, but one hand and it's kind of hard to hold on to. But then you get to get the stem, and then we have that nice rivet there. And then we just do it again, doing it one handed. Slide it down, and then do the exact same thing over and over and over and over. And then when we get to the end of this one here, we've got our second track. That will lay on top of here. I need some type of tripod. Just like that. And we'll slide the jig down, put our first rivet in, slide the jig down, put our next rivet in, and then we have our, we have our finished member. So we have about, I think, 50 of these to do. Um, I think we calculated it out to be about 750 to 800 rivets we got to put through this stuff. We have 50 of the assembled uh, folded steel beams and it's about a hundred and hundred, hundred uh, of these plastic tracks that we have to cut, fit, drill, and rivet to those. So uh, that's what we'll be doing for the next uh, probably a week or two and then we'll actually be taking these um, finished members, putting them up on the roof and actually drilling through this, the uh, C-channel up there, a quarter inch hole, uh, we'll, we'll drill through the plastic track, through the metal uh, folded steel uh, um, beams, and then through the steel C-channel, which is about a quarter inch thick, and then we'll put our stainless steel bolt through that, washer, or, um, uh, washer and nut it up on there, and uh, it'll be set. And we do that in three different spots, and on the very bottom we use uh, these uh, grip right, um, uh, uh, what do you call them, the Spax screws uh, for composite decking. We'll use those or self-augering and we'll fa final, do the final fasten, fastening into the gutter line. So that's where we're at. Um, we got, uh, I think between Mike and I in, the two, in basically about two hours, we got about six of these done. And so, you know, one, one person could do about ten a night in four hours, I think, maybe. Um, with two people, you could easily do, you know, eight to ten, no problem whatsoever. Uh, or I'm sorry, ten to twelve, 
because um, like I said, we did six in pretty much two hours. So, all right, um, that's about it. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. Otherwise, I'll see you later.